Hey, this is just me, 11x, and a super smooth OS, guys. Static OS 8.0 Vanilla Ice Cream. It's renamed as Vanilla, but it's not a Vanilla build. It's a G apps build. Tennis code name Aliot. Security pass September 5th latest. Base band also you can read. Kernel also you can read here. This is the latest build available for me, 11x, other Poco FT. This is typical UI you get. You guys can see. And good thing is some of the features have been included like Android 15 style of Pixel Studio. You get here. You can do that. You can actually create them. No human images as of now. And this is the apps I'm currently using. Some of the apps are updated and this is the screenshot app. We are looking some Android 15 features here. That's how these things have been included like Pixel Studio screenshots app in this weather application has been updated now mm. let's search for yeah that's how it looks like new air we'll see mm. china okay now new air we'll see this are the new application interface you guys can see that has been included in this ROM. Really happy, guys. I'm really happy with the implementation. And the UI is really smooth. Even in the quick settings toggles, you guys can see in the edit section, the animations and smoothness are really good. But we missed the Dolby Atmos here that you need to keep in mind. And camera application is basic thing here. If you want, you can use any Gcam ports, not an NX camera here. I am not going to support here in this particular ROM. Very smooth experience, guys. If a person hold here again widgets, you get native widgets here. Everything will be working fine. No problem regarding that. And coming into some calculator again, it remains very similar. Some of the apps has been updated. It to get updated few other apps here. And into the settings panel again, battery. You get all the necessary options like battery usage. You guys can see charging speeds also I'm sure within a while. The battery life is really good. And you get this extreme battery saver now only by battery saver is given battery widget battery uh, thermal profiles has been given here and coming to sound and vibration again you get all the necessary options vibration and haptics you get this intensity for individual things and display again you get all the necessary options icon manager is given dark theme again implementation is not a dark here that's how we can expect in uh, basic or ROM or anything like that guys and the color contrast option you get this kind of new thing here this is an Android 15 style guys and the screen saver options smooth display however it's there smooth refresh rate force peak refresh rate para app refresh rate you can select them you guys can see here the refresh rate actually it's uh, stable <laughs> it's I don't think so it's 120 anyhow that's the problem guys and into system again into gestures you get navigation more and gesture navigation it's very simple guys it's like a uh, pixel experience and all these options are working fine for example on android mode you guys can see the interface is smooth and fast here in both the areas fast rest and smoothness i really liking this screen recording options you get all these options here you guys can see and it's very smooth and this is a power button you get no advanced restart button. This is a static OS case. And again, if I come back here and show you the this one wallpaper some style again. Some of the pre-installed wallpapers. These are lock lock screen. That still remains same here. Nothing has been changed here. Change wallpapers. This one some few wallpapers are pre-included here. I'm really liking it. Minimalistic wallpapers here. And this is the settings panel. Everything is fine, guys. The smoothness, everything. As you can see, location, haptic feedback, strength, everything is fine. This is fingerprint unlock. See, guys, it's completely stable as 120. I mean, it's not uh, changing. And so I'll go into display and I'll turn that off. Show refresh it. It's not going to work like that. And so I always recommend to uh, follow my words rather than seeing on the screen. So the things you have to see the screen, but again, follow my words whatever I'll tell and this also some core few features has been added in this static source we'll see BGMI guys
This is the gaming guys, the region mic, you guys can say smooth plus extreme only. As I said earlier, it's a simple round, like we can expect like Pixel S or Pixel Expense or the Arrow S. Somewhere between the Arrow S and Pixel Experience, very smooth expense. New features has been added, many as can see here, there's a volume panel. If I move it here, you'll get this dynamic event kind of notifications as you can see. How much percentage, what, and down. And I'm really liking the experience of the UI. It's really, really good. The gaming experience is also fine, I can say. And if you have any specific questions, comment down in the comment section, guys. And watch full video first, then again, comment down in the comment section. And the flashing method and all will be given in the description. Don't need to worry regarding that. I use the TWRP sometimes, and majority of the times, Orange Fox will work. The previous video was just the one level inside last this TWRP recording. This is the gaming experience. We'll come back here and show some of the results if people are waiting for that. And I know got it. See on. Yeah, this is the Geekman scores. Very good scores, guys. And this is a kernel used. And this is a read write speed test. So this one is read write speed test. And this is DRM info is not working though. And Play Store is certified because this certification like basic integrity and cities performance getting passed yet. And uh, yeah, charging rapidly 5:43 p.m. It's 79 percent. 5:50 it's 94. Charging rapidly, falling 45 minutes. That's how it is. This is a uh, very good ROM. In fact, I'm really liking it. But you'll miss that features like Dolby Atmos on down and gesture settings and some customizations will definitely miss. But if you want to check that new features like Pixel Studio and some of the other options, what I said in the video, go and watch the full video. Yes, so this is some part signing off. Uh, this is a recommended ROM for me, Linus, or the Poco F3 that it me care for the guys. And we'll meet you with another interesting video. Until that, keep smiling. Bye bye for now.